This is a scene being repeated across the Palestinian territories. We are like a Palestinian people. We will not accept this. We will stay to fight and fight and fight to get Jerusalem, capital of Palestine. But beyond protesting, Palestinian leaders are now trying to come up with a unified action plan to respond to Donald Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Most say the Oslo Accord is dead. It's been the basis of 25 years of US-mediated on-off negotiations between the Palestinians and the Israelis. I'm telling my brothers in the Palestinian Authority that the situation should be clear. We will go out of the Oslo darkness. This decision has killed Oslo. The PA's Prime Minister, Rami Hamdullah, was in Gaza on a pre-arranged visit as Hamas hands back control of the territory. Well before Trump's announcement, polls showed two-thirds of Palestinians wanted Hamdullah's boss, President Mahmoud Abbas, to resign because they're no nearer a deal on statehood. Now there's even more pressure on the PA to come up with a new strategy. We will confront this decision by having our own national unity. The justice of our case we will establish on 67 borders. This is a demonstration of force by fighters from Hamas's armed wing, the Al-Qassam Brigade. But it's likely to remain just that, a demonstration, because political leaders here realise that this time they want the focus of Palestinian anger not to be on the situation in Gaza, but to be on what's happening to Jerusalem. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Gaza.